Hello, this is Juan Sanchez and this is week's ESN. Good morning, Monarchs. I'm Josiah Martinez. And I'm Zach Welch. And today is Friday, May 3rd, 2019, and here's this week's bulletin. Wait, Josiah, isn't prom tomorrow? You are correct. Reminder to everyone who will be attending prom, every student must have an ID and their prom tickets at the front door. Well, that wraps this week's bulletin. Let's head over to Ryan and Hannah for sports. Good morning, Monarchs. I'm Helen. And I'm Ryan. And here's this week's sports brought to you by Kirkman's VIP Pizza. This past week in sports, the boys' baseball team went up against Hanford West and took a huge win of 20-1. to They then moved on to playing Farmersville, getting the win of 20-0. to And on Tuesday night, they took their second win against Kingsburg, 8-1. to Great job. Keep it up. The girls' softball team played against Salma in Hanford West last week and beat Salma 7-1 but took a loss against Hanford West 7-1. On Tuesday night this week, they went up against Kingsburg, but lost to them 7-5. Keep your head up, ladies. You're doing great. The golf team finished with third place and barely missed by two strokes. Great season, boys. The track team geared up and traveled to Danuba last week on a very hot afternoon, but did an outstanding job. In this season, 116 people started off. There was 87 athletes who finished the job, and there was about 45 who moved on to Lee. Way to go, Monarchs. Now for this week's giveaways brought to you by Kirkman's Bread Pizza, where you can get two slices and a large drink for $6. Box of Destiny, please. The six winners are Ethan G and Natalie Cole. Make sure you go collect your gifts in Miss Reed's office. That wraps up this week's sports. Dear ESN, is marijuana bad for dogs? Yes, it is extremely harmful. It can cause seizures, fever, and death. Don't give your dogs marijuana. Guess that emoji. So how did that guy Thanos do it? Wasn't it just... Hey Monarchs, welcome back to another episode of Spill the Tea! I'm your host, Maria Zavala, and today we have some serious tea, sis. <laughs> Do you guys remember that PSA Jacob did about Kandama users? Well, let me tell you, Kandama users were not happy, and we are here to fill you guys in on the tea about what's going on. You want to make schools out of wood? I don't think so. Nice try, though. Really? Use the wood to build houses? No. 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 <laughs> the kids need the toys, all right? This takes skill and dedication, and this is our hobby. What is yours? I, Eli Hernandez, challenged Jacob Carmen to a game of Ken. Well, that was some tea. Well, that's all we have for this week, but please remember, Spill the Tea is strictly for entertainment, not beef starting. We'll see you guys next time on Spill the Tea! According to Mr. Hendrick, there's no such thing as cold, only heat. So why do things get cold in the freezer? Let's talk about that. So there's no such thing as cold, there's only heat. So why do things get cold in the freezer? Um, because they're warm. Because they're warm. <laughs> so, the, so the refrigerator was not cold, but it was colder than the food. <laughs> no. Because um, heat is a form of energy and cold is a measure of temperature. Because there's no heat, right? I'm going to guess that there's so much heat that like you 
can't handle it, I'm guessing, and so it like denatures the molecules, and um, then they just like stop, you know? Because it's cold in the freezer? No, there's no such thing as cold. Oh. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I think he's wrong. Honestly, I know it has something to do with global warming. Hmm. That's the answer to everything, pretty much. <laughs> Things get cold in the freezer because they release all of their heat, and there's an absence of heat is what cold is. Well, that's it for Let's Talk over the Zach and Josiah in the studio. Well, that wraps up this week's ESN. As always, stay classy, monarchs. Rah!